Hi everyone, AI4QT, and uh, you know in the last year I've noticed there's just been an avalanche of YouTube videos espousing this uh, flat earth theory, and to be honest with you, the first time I came across a flat earth theorist was probably, um, oh let's see, probably when I was in uh, uh, high school or maybe even before that. I do remember reading a book uh, uh, claiming that uh, Admiral Byrd, as he flew to the North Pole, uh, that uh, some mysterious force overtook his aircraft and the aircraft uh, eventually glided into an area at the North Pole that became open and it was hence a hollow earth inside. But uh, I digress here. Uh, and going back to flat earth, so probably it was in high school that I uh, read either a book or, or an article uh, explaining uh, why the flat earth people believe the way they do. They basically describe the earth as being round and flat and how that's possible is that they used, I believe they used the analogy of a long playing record at the time. People were familiar with the LPs. It, you know, the LP record, if you're familiar with them, they're f flat but they're also round. So that's what they were basically claiming the earth was. Uh, but uh, the problem with that is that if the Earth is flat, then you have to explain why radio stations um, only can broadcast in a certain area on a particular frequency. For example, uh, 96.9 is a local station here in Huntsville, and uh, so you would not have a similar station broadcasting on 96.9, let's say in uh, uh, well, I'm trying to think, uh, say Birmingham, okay, Birmingham and Huntsville are about uh, 90 air miles or so between each other. If the earth was flat, there would be no way you could uh, uh, broadcast uh, on that frequency two different radio stations because what would happen, because if the earth is flat, the signals would just collide into each other and there would be just, uh, you know, jamming of one station uh, to the other. Uh, the same with uh, television stations. The reason why I am unable to pick up a TV station in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina is because there is something between uh, Charlotte and Huntsville, Alabama and that happens to be around Earth. Uh, radio signals travel in a straight line in the uh, uh, upper frequencies that uh, TV broadcast are broadcasting on as well as uh, let's see uh, uh, very high frequency for uh, FM signals. Uh, so the only way uh, you can get the uh, television signal out to a distance beyond the horizon because the earth is round you better have a tall antenna to go beyond the horizon. <laughs> so you know I, I don't know why uh, flat earthers cannot use logic to determine that uh, the, the earth cannot be flat because uh, radio transmissions uh, prove that the earth it has to be round <laughs> because otherwise there would be no need to divide the radio spectrum into uh, different frequencies so uh, stations can broadcast on an assigned frequency the same with TV stations so anyway I don't know. Of course, hey, I just noticed a flat Mercator uh, projection map on the wall here. It's proven that the Earth is flat, right? <laughs> hate to tell you, the Earth is round. It's a globe. <laughs>